Yeah, this is Ray Sorcery from Home the Fuck Pixels. And I'm Lydia Bailey. Today Ray and I will be debating the features of a DSLR camera versus a happy little point and shoot. Ray and I are going to be debating the pros and cons of a classic little point and shoot versus expensive DSLR cameras. We're going to divide this debate into 12 categories. Let's go. Number one, first thing you've got to consider is price. I mean, how much did that DSLR cost you? Um, this DSLR, um, it's a Canon 5D Mark II, very popular cam camera. Um, originally it was priced at about four and a half thousand dollars, but I got it second hand at about just over two thousand New Zealand dollars. Well, see, this Canon PowerShot was uh, brand new and only cost five hundred dollars New Zealand. Number two, weight. I mean, this little baby weighs next to nothing. How much did that hunk of heavy metal cost? Well, admittedly, um, this D DSLR cameras are, have better build quality, but the sacrifice or trade-off is that they do weigh a ton. Well, at least a couple of kgs, and in your tramping pack, man, that's quite a lot of weight. Guess I won again. It's a true labour of love. <laughs> Thirdly, size. I mean, does size really matter, Ray? No. Well, admittedly, a DSLR camera has better build quality because its extra weight and size form stability, which is um, actually really um, important uh, when you're shooting video. You know, yeah, but you can, can... put your shoulder a bit and use a rig. Yeah. But can it fit into my pocket? Look at this. Into the pocket. Um, Let me try to put that in my pocket. Come on, give it here. Yeah, yeah, it fits. Uh -huh. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you win. Okay. Number four, availability. This Canon power shop was bought at my local camera shop. I mean, they didn't stock your DSLR. Uh, wrong. Actually, the first DSLR was an entry level. I got it for thousand dollars for the body, and it's from my local camera shop. One thousand dollars. Share that price tag. Let's go back to number one. Okay, you win. <laughs> number five is build quality. I mean, this point and shoot seems pretty well made. Mm, but will it work in a rainstorm or at minus 10 degrees? These DSLRs are semi-waterproof and really rugged, you can drop them. Oh, in fact, why don't we drop both of them from a specified height and see which one survives? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you Come win. On. Maybe you okay, win. after the debate. It's on. Number six is image quality. I mean, these cameras seem to take good enough quality pictures for my Facebook. Yeah, I'm sure they do. But when you enlarge the image to 100% on a computer, you'll see the difference. And um, anyway, it's about the size of the camera sensor. Um, my images can be printed out up to A1 size. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, I guess you win again. Thank you. Number seven, lenses. Well, as you can see, this beautiful point and shoot camera goes from 24 millimeters to 120 millimeters. I mean, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. Fair enough, and I don't have to, you don't have to fiddle around with changing lenses and stuff, eh? Exactly. Yeah. But while you get the convenience of one lens to rule them all, you sacrifice that in image quality because really the uh, quality of your photos are really dictated by the quality of the glass elements inside the lens. See. And my wide angle lens has more you know, wider peripheral vision. Well, so I, I guess, guess you're winning again. Number eight is megapixels. I mean, this new model boasts 12 million megapixels. Isn't it the same as some DSLRs? Yeah, my friend's uh, like Nikon D700, I think it's got about 12 megapixels still, but um, it's got 21. Uh, but really, megapixels isn't what it's about, it's how big those <coughs> megapixels are. Because some cameras boast uh, huge megapixel counts, but the actual pixels are smaller. Oh. Yeah, it's an advertising gimmick. That's sneaky. Not good. Watch out for that. Number nine is flash. I mean, clearly my one has flash. Gotcha. I mean, don't you have to pay for extra flash, extra cash, extra flash? Uh-huh, please. Uh, good point, Lydia. Um, 
But why would you ever use a flash? At least not right there on the middle of the camera. I mean, it's going to cast ugly, harsh shadows on someone's face or behind them on the wall. Might have red eye effect, you know. Um, you know, pr professional photographers don't always put their flash in the middle. They usually put the cat flash off camera, off to the side. I see what you mean by red eye effect. I think you win this round. Of course. Number 10 is aperture. This camera has aperture priority. Big deal. What um, aperture range does it have? Um, f1.8 to f8. It's rather restricted range. You can't dial in a narrow aperture of f22, for instance, to get a wide depth of field for landscapes. I win again. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you win again. Number 11 is viewfinder. Where is it? <laughs> exactly. Some smaller point and shoots don't have a viewfinder. Um, well, what's wrong that. with that? Well, two things. Um, one, without a viewfinder, you can't put the camera up to your eye and have three points of contact. You're forced to do this, which is leverage. Not good. The second thing is, I mean, in strong sunlight, that LCD screen's going to be unusable. Guess you win again, Ray. <laughs> Such a shame. <laughs> Number 12 is LCD display, and that's where this baby shines. I can turn around, I can take some selfies, I can be at a concert, tilt it up. It's a winner. Can you actually see if the image is in focus? I mean, does the LCD screen accurately portray how the image is going to be cropped? Enough said. Let's score the two cameras. Fine. Okay. Here's the final scores. My humble point and shoot is 5 out of 12. My DSLR, 7 out of 12. I Guess you I win. Yep. Looks like you're only a coffee, Liddy. Do you agree with this? Leave your opinion in the comment section below. And if you need more helpful tips and inspiration, download our free ebooks. And subscribe to our channel. For more helpful tips, download your free range of ebooks by clicking the right hand side of the screen. And if you found this video inspiring or somewhat entertaining, thank you for subscribing to our channel. And thanks for watching!